First, the pronunciation of the vocabulary that we will be working with today. Listen and repeat. Isolation. Manifest. Mediate. Nerve. Neurological. Regulate. Relive. Reminisce. Signal. Variation. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ben Betterby, and you're amazing. This video is designed to help you acquire and practice vocabulary important for the IELTS exam. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. In addition, check out the links in the description below for a worksheet on this material and information how you can study with me one-on-one -on -one or join one of our weekly group hangouts. Now let's get started. Let's move on to definitions. Please pause the video, fill in the blanks with the words from down below, and press play to check your answers. Verb. To think, talk, or write about a happy time in your past. Reminisce. Adjective. Relating to physical nerves in the body. Neurological. Noun. A change in the amount or level of something. Variation. Noun. The state of being separated. Isolation. Verb. To control the variables related to something that happens. Regulate. Very good job. Round two. Verb. To appear or become easy to notice. Manifest. Verb. To influence something and or make it possible for it to happen. Mediate. Verb. To experience something again, especially in your imagination. Relive. Noun. An occurrence that gives information. Signal. Noun. Any of the long fibers that carry messages in the body. Nerve. Let's move on to sample sentences. It's the same as last time. When you see the blank, pause the video, fill in the blank with a word from down below, and then press play to check your answer. My sister and I sometimes get together and reminisce over family photos. Reminiscing has, um, it's an odd word because it has a slightly negative tone to it, but it's not a bad thing. You know, when you get together and you, and you think about the past, it's a little bittersweet. The doctor took an MRI of the patient's nervous system to find out more about their neurological problems. Jails put their worst prisoners in isolation so they cannot hurt other inmates. Strict regulation of the patient's diet meant they were not allowed any carbohydrates during their hospital stay. So when you regulate something, you're monitoring it and controlling it by changing the variables involved in the system. While the mathematical point easily manifested itself to John, it was not at all apparent to anyone else. Manifest is a very high-level word, but it is important for the exam. And basically, in this sentence, the idea has presented itself to John. It has come to him. It has manifested in front of him. So almost like a peer, but slightly different. In this sentence, the idea has manifested itself to John, not necessarily appeared to him. It has come to him and become a part of him. My wife is the one who always mediates disagreements between our two daughters. That's very common in some families, where one person ends up becoming the judge. <laughs> the coach informed the players that it was time to start the new play by signaling with his hand. The young man felt horrible for causing his girlfriend to relive the pain of her childhood trauma. Multiple sclerosis is a disease where a person's immune system attacks the protective coverings of their nerve fibers. So a nerve is a special type of cell in your body that communicates uh, using electrical signals. You have neurons in your brain and nerves, uh, nerve cells that go from your brain to the rest of your body to get input and so that you can send output to move around. A chef recently created an expensive variation of macaroni and cheese by adding lobster tails to the dish. 
Mm. Let's move on to review. Pause the video and fill in the blanks with the vocab from down below, then press play to check your answers. To understand how loneliness manifests in the human mind, scientists recently studied the MRI data, genetics, and neurological assessments of 40,000 adults. Researchers were able to compare data from those who felt lonely with those who did not and discovered variations in the volume of different brain regions. There were surprising differences in a brain region known as the default network, which regulates our innermost thoughts, such as reminiscing, future planning, imagining, and thinking of others. Interestingly, the gray matter volume of the default networks of lonely people was greater, and their default networks were more strongly wired together. In addition, a bundle of nerve fibers that carries signals to the default network from the hippocampus, a brain structure that mediates learning and memory, was also better preserved in lonely people. It appears that lonely people are more likely to use their imaginations to relive memories of their past and to focus on hopes for the future in order to overcome their social isolation. Secret homework time. If you take the vocab from the lesson today and write some sentences using that vocab and put it down below in a comment, I will do my best to correct any mistakes that you make in that writing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Betterby, and you're amazing. If you liked this content, please remember to subscribe. And remember, check out the links in the description below for a worksheet on this material and information on how you can study with me one-on-one -on -one or join one of our weekly group hangouts. Have a wonderful day.